Hello, it is I, Gloria, and um, I have made this wonderful cyberpunk Red Riding Hood render thing. I even made a cool turnaround on it. You can probably find it on my YouTube. And I must say, I am very, very proud of this project. It looks amazing and it has so much charm. And everybody loves it and I love it and it's great. So, and I also have recorded the whole process, well, almost the whole process. I, I didn't record the concept art because it was a lot of suffering <laughs> and nobody wants to see the suffering. So, I recorded all the 3D parts of the process and I would like to talk about how I did it and my process and my mindset on things. And uh, maybe you could learn a thing or two. So yeah. And also if you have any questions or things you would like me to talk about, please um, tell me in the comments because I don't really have that, that much things to talk about. <laughs> so, um, some people ask like me about lighting. And lighting is really kind of simple only kind of simple because in reality it's very complex but all, all you need to do is imagine where do you want the light to come from and how it should look and also sometimes using colored lights can add a lot of life to your scene and I recommend doing it on some projects but not all because like on this one it, it probably wouldn't have worked very well wanted very accurate colors and if you color your lighting you're gonna have much more colors than just those so yeah and also the importance of concept art should never be underestimated every time I make a concept art for my project it turns out to be much much better um, this this design it wouldn't have been so good well it's not the best but it's pretty nice it would not have been in such a neat spot if I haven't had taken five days and three days of research to make it look good and just gather ideas. So yeah, it, it took me quite a long time to figure out what I like, what I wanted in this design. First, I accidentally made her look too medieval because well, European folk tale, right? Let's just make it a bit medieval. But it's also very cyberpunk, so it was hard to manage to do that. So I just I, I left her her princess sleeves and made them kind of transparent so they look cool. But yeah, most of it I, I kept modern and cyberpunky. And I think it worked out pretty well. Now, I actually took this um, body and head from a previous project of mine that I haven't finished, but I will work on it eventually. But yeah, it turn, turns out I, I, I didn't have a good start with that project, and I, I wish I kind of didn't use it as a base mesh for sculpting, because it might have caused me more suffering than gain. <laughs> very unfortunate but hey you just gotta remember to do studies to avoid these things now um, at first she was looking very like Asian or black I, I can't really tell but she was looking anything but European and Caucasian and because this is Red Riding Hood and it's a European folk tale I really wanted her to look as European as possible, so that's why I gave her blonde hair and blue eyes. I mean, you can't get more Caucasian than that. So yeah. And then after trying to experiment with proportions, I eventually got something that I liked. And it worked out pretty well. Now, 
the biggest thing I actually struggle with in sculpting and generally is the eyes. The eyeballs themselves are easy, they're just spheres with the glass lines on top, but the actual eyelids are really hard because there's so much stuff going on in the eye, like the eye almost interacts with every face part you have, which makes it very very complex to sculpt and even when I follow all the simple things on how to sculpt it, it's, it's still hard to, to make it work well, but I eventually came out pumpkin good enough and censored it by eyelashes because eyelashes is pretty cool so yeah studying eyes is a thing i should really work on because i i really want to, to get those nice organic eyes that just have so much life in them but my the eyes i do they, they just look so stylized kind of like a doll and I, I want to try and get something more made of flesh, you know? So yeah. Now uh, a good tip on how to make an appealing face is get the shape of the head right, that's the first thing you should do. And the other thing is if you are sculpting a female and you want her to be very feminine, I highly, highly recommend making the gap between the lips and the nose as tiny as you can. And if you want to make like a more elegant female, sometimes a good idea is to take the bottom part of the face, including the nose, and drag it down a bit because long noses have like some elegance to them. So that's a pretty cool tip for you. Now, as you can see, I am trying to sculpt some eyes. I've actually used quite a lot of reference to make this art to get it as good as I can. And I mean, it, it worked out pretty nicely in the end. As you can tell by the final result that you've seen on my social media. Hopefully you already follow me on social. I post pretty cool stuff there. So. Um, another thing I'd like to talk about is how to stay motivated, and especially how to stay motivated in the times of pandemic. Well, um, my answer to that is um, it is very hard to stay motivated. <laughs> and a good way that I try to stay motivated is by doing things I like, like you know, sculpting. Or making a cool render but um, you also need to remember that if you are a professional artist and you want to do this for a living that you you also need to do other things like still take commissions and advertise your stuff and um, work on bigger projects that will give you profit in the future like video games but those bigger projects can be very hard to do because well it's so much work you know but, but you know if, if you just take it step by step and make little goals for yourself then it, it works pretty nicely so yeah now um i would like to go back and talk a bit about concepting so um i uh on the colors of concept actually struggled a lot we tried to do several different color schemes and none of them were working but i did knew that i wanted to make the main color red so at first i tried to combine it with other colors but turns out that red doesn't really work with any color other than itself so what i just decided to do is make her whole outfit red except some parts are gonna be black to add some contrast like her belt and her shirt and some tiny little details and it worked out pretty well and i was very happy with her 
fancy, kind of formal, yet still casual, and very, very hooded design, because, well, you can't have Red Riding Hood without a hood, <laughs> otherwise it wouldn't be Red Riding Hood, it would just be a Red Riding Girl. <laughs> so yeah, I was struggling quite a bit with sculpting the whole body and face, but that's simply because I got off to a bad start. What I should have done is just 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 re redone the whole thing from simple shapes and blocks. But, but in the end, with enough suffering, pain and tears, I managed to make it work nicely. And I am very proud of myself for that. So, yeah. And that is all I have to talk about for today. And I'll just let the music play. And sit back, relax, and watch me try to sculpt 